So in this tutorial, what we're going to be doing is looking at how to create a chair um, and utilizing the modeling toolkit. So we'll be looking at how to create edge loops that are even using the connect tool. Um, we'll then look at how to extrude out the legs and as well as how to bevel uh, the edges and so forth, as well as using the multi-cut tool to, to connect edges together um, to get rid of quads, uh, to make sure everything's quads and so forth and cleaning up the topology. So we'll start by uh, setting the project. So under File, Set Project, and I'm going to set it to an existing project folder, which is called Table. And I'm going to set it like so. And now I'll just save my scene as uh, Chair. I'm going to call it Chair 2. I'll save it like so. Now, working in centimeters, so going to the Preferences, Display, uh, sorry, Settings, Centimeters, like so. Um, I'm going to double click on my Polygon Cube and set it up to 20, 3, and 20. And go Create. So the first thing I want to do is put some edge loops into this cube. Now, to do that, I'm going to use the uh, Modeling Toolkit. So you can click on this icon up the top here to bring up the modeling toolkit, or it should be on the, the tab there. Alternatively, you can see it from the mesh tools up the top. And what we're going to do is use the connect tool. So click on the connect, and by default, it's set to one segment. So I'll just click on my edge, like so. And now I've got uh, one edge if I want to increase those segments, I can just type it in like so. Or if I use middle mouse button and drag, I can create a virtual slider. So I'll just keep it at uh, two, like so. Now, I can change my um, pinch, which is, as you can see, pushing it in and out, like so. Or you can even slide stuff across. But I'm going to go with just pinch, so I'll just select that. Um, and let's move that out. So with the pinch sort of set up to the spacing that I want, I'm then going to press enter and that will create the, the pinch. If I press Q and go back into object mode and select the object and reactivate the tool, so connect and then select one of the uh, other edges running in the opposite direction, I'll then get the same edge loops running with the same measurements as my settings as prior, which is what I want. So I'll press return and activate that. So now I've got a nice sort of base um, to work from. So first things is going to be to extrude out um, some legs. So underneath, I'll go in and select four faces by holding down Shift to add to selection. Click on the Extrude tool, and then I can extrude out those legs, like so. I'm now going to extrude out uh, the back, but before I do that, I'm just going to extrude inside into it a little bit just to create some extra geometry around. Um, or, or let's do something before we do that. We'll grab the top faces, the uh, top edges, each of the edges. Double click to add to the whole length of the selection and holding down shift to add to the selection. And we'll use the bevel just to bevel out the edge like so. And we'll add a segment into that so it has a nice rounded effect. With that, I'm going to then select my two faces um, let's make sure we're working in the positive X. So that's a positive X. And so this will be the back of the chair. And 
control E, which brings up the extrude, and I can just extrude those faces out. So as I go up, I'm going to press G again to create another extrusion, G. So I'm adding these sort of segments to it, or edge loops, and I'm going to use those to create uh, back support. So with those two selected, I'll go in, select the faces, and I'm going to use the extrude, extrude again, just to scale it in a little bit like so. And with the faces selected, shift selecting the other face, I can go in and use the bridge tool. Now I'll bridge across. And again, I'll bridge those across. And instead of just bridging straight across, I'll add some divisions as well to this, um, which will then allow me to go in. And if I hold down B key, I turn the soft select on. And if I hold B down and click and drag, I get the, the fall off radius of the soft select. So I'll do it something like that. Use the W key, and now I can just sort of bend that up a little bit, like so. Okay, so let's uh, just create a little bit more detail. Um, I'll click on the B to get rid of the soft select. Grab those two, Control E, and just bring up a nice little sort of bevel edged around the top there. And we'll also uh, bevel the legs and the support. So I just want the bevel to come up through here. Sure I've got everything selected that I want so I'll do the same for the other side and the legs underneath Okay, so I've got all, except for that one, all my edges selected that I want. I'm not concerned about the in, inner ones, I'm just concerned about the outer ones, but I've done the inner and outer of the legs. So we'll go uh, bevel, and that's created a nice little sort of bevel. Maybe we'll make it a little bit bigger. extra segment like so and I'm happy with that so just to finish this off we're going to use the uh, multi-cut tool and I'm going to take these outer edges and oops I can see I've done a mistake haven't selected so just pressing Z is going back and undoing that just so I can get the same beveling on both sides so then I can run edge loops from one side to another so we'll go bevel like so and there's two segments like so yep happy with that. Let's just double check everywhere that I've got consistency. No. Just need to make sure these edge loops, these edges as well.
Okay, so with that, I'll get the multi-cut tool and I'll click on these edge loops. So basically I'm running them down from up here, across and down again. And doing that same, so this turns everything in, back into quads. Like so. And I'll run this one as well down to here. Just making sure that I'm clicking on the vertices so I'm not add, adding additional geometry in there. That's okay. And just to fix this up, just running one down the side here, which I'll have to do on the other side. So, and yeah, just going through and clean, cleaning up the, the mesh so everything becomes quads again. Yep. I'll run it underneath, that's fine. And I'll run one over the top as well. Which it's not doing so get one to come with me So, okay, so I'm happy with that now. Um, could add a little bit more detail. Uh, let's just fix up. Some of these edges through here. Quads now. It's all good. Like so. Okay, so with that bottom face selected, I might add an extra bit of detail. Just extrude down. Um, now, if let's extrude in a little bit before we extrude down, and then um, extrude down. Sorry, extrude down a little bit and scale it in, and then do the same. G extrude down. So I'm actually beveling the edge as I just extrude, rather than using the bevel tool again there. Like so. And there's our chair. So I'll just bring back the grid. I'll scale it up. And let's just make sure it's the right scale. So I'm gonna bring import a table that I've just created and so you can see we need to scale this up now before I scale up the the chair oh hang on a sec I think this table's way too big um, let's go into meters 
Okay, so the table's two meters and the chair is 20 centimeters. Okay, so that's not quite right. All right, so what we need to do is scale up this chair. So I'm going to move the pivot point. So D on the keyboard, click on the bottom face and D again, and then W, so an X to snap to the grid, like so. And I'm just gonna scale it up. Let's move it out for a little bit. Okay, so I'm happy with the proportions between the, the chair and the table. Uh, it'd be good to have a, a figure in here just to make sure that the scales are all right. I think this table is quite big, but um, that'll do for now. So I'll just get rid of that table. I'll take my chair and I will center the chair. Let's go, uh, let's just do this manually. So center pivot, so it pushes the pivot up to the top. And G. Like so I'll bring that up. And then let's just manually line it up. So, and D, move the pivot point, click it to the bottom, and I'll just move it to the center. D, reselect it, and just move it away, and then hold down X, and that snaps it to the, the grid. So that all should be perfectly lined up, except for middle, so press D again, X, snap it into the center. So there's my, my chair, but as you can see, I've got like lots of history and I've got lots of uh, translates and, and so forth scales to it. So I'm going to zero everything out and delete the history. So edit, delete by type, delete history. And then we'll go up to modify freeze transformations and zero everything out. So there's my chair. I'll just name it. And I'll save my scene as So, so there we have it. There's uh, creating a chair using the Connect, um, as well as Bevel, as well as some extrudes and so forth.